Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to easily upload your classes to the Team Shake app. The first thing you need is to open up either Google Sheets or an Excel spreadsheet and add the following column headings name, strength, sub team, opposed team, absent, and gender to your sheet. And then you can either copy and paste in your class names or import them from wherever you have them saved. Over on the right hand side here, I have put the genders in. Um, it's one for male, two for female, or if you don't want to specify, you can just leave it blank as zero. You also have some other options that you can put in. You can do this once you've loaded it in the app or ahead of time. So let's say, for example, I know that Popeye is very strong. I can give him a rating of a one, or if he's super strong, give him a two. And perhaps uh, Donkey's not strong at all. I might give him a rating of minus one. And that will help balance teams out according to various strengths for different activities. The sub-team category, you use that if you want to have two people on the same team. So if I always want to have Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse on the same team, I will give them the same sub-team number. Let's say I also want to have Shrek and Donkey on the same team, but not the same team as Mickey and Minnie. I will just give them a different sub-team number. The opposed team is the opposite. Perhaps I don't want two people working together. Pinocchio is now not going to be on the same team as Daisy ever. Absent, leave this one blank for now because that's going to change on a daily basis. And when you are done with your sheet, you can save it, uh, download it as a CSV sheet, and then you're going to email it to yourself. So in the iPad view here, I'm going to open up my email. I've got the Team Shake list here, and on the Google Drive icon, I'm going to tap on that, and it will show me that it's saving it to Drive, and when it's finished, it'll say that it's saved. So that's now saved to my Google Drive. I'm going to go into the Google Drive app that I have on my sheet, and I'm going to search for the appropriate file, open it. It needs to be in a CSV. Now, it'll tell you it cannot open it. That's okay. So you can tap on open in and it's going to give me choices of all different apps I have down here. I want to open it in this one here, Team Shake. And it will go into there and it's going to import all that information automatically. I'm now going to call this name uh, Demo Disney and I'm going to click on save in the top right hand corner here. And I'm going to load that list that I have just saved. Okay, so they're, they're all there, there. Now you can see there's little notations here, the ones and the twos. These are the sub-teams. So these, this doesn't show me that with that color, but I want these students on the same team. And the red means I don't want them on the same team. Let's say for this day, uh, donkey's not present. If I just tap on the stop sign arrow there, then I can change them to be absent. And then depending on how many teams I want, I can move the cursor up and down, press the shake it up button, and there we go, I have my two teams. If I don't like them, I can change them again, and so on. Now, if you make any changes to your list, you are going to want to save it. I don't necessarily want to say that Donkey and Pinocchio were away, but if perhaps I've made some other notations, like let's say Daffy Duck, for example, um, I've realized that in this particular activity we're doing, he is not particularly strong. I'm going to change him on his rating here to being a little bit weaker. And I want to save those changes under Manage Lists at the end. I'm going to tap on that. And I'm going to make sure I save the list changes before I exit out. Now, one thing that is important when you first try to upload your list, make sure the app is closed out before you try and upload it. Otherwise, it may not upload properly. I hope that helps.